Hey everyone, and welcome back to another Deadless Crafting tutorial. Uh, so, um, if you were keeping up with what happened last week, uh, I mentioned that at uh, on that Sunday, I'm gonna I'm gonna calculate what what the exact value of this actually is. It was a lot of work, and I, and I found that it's it's going to turn from how to find it into I'm gonna find it for you and I don't want that to happen um, and and, uh, and the goal of that was was hoping to give you some inspiration on how to find exact values but but uh, this is one of those times where it actually was not worth her um, it's, it's just gonna be so much effort it it gets pretty discouraging um, but anyways uh, on to the topic at hand which is uh, drawing drawing and like finishing off the face and and i want this clown to have his mouth open uh, so first uh, i want to start with something relatively simple and it's an equation that, that i feel that we hardly ever use uh, so so i want to give a few equations a try First is is uh, it's, it's the old parabola, which is is x squared, it's y equals x squared, and to transform it, um, well, well, in, in this case, we're going we're going to be moving it upwards, and to move it up, we're just going to add however much we want to move it up. So this looks like 15, 20, somewhere between 17. Move it up a little bit more, so it's going to be. Okay, there is this option, a little wider. Okay, there is that option for the top of his mouth. Another option that we can try, so, so these are equations that are very similar to, so this, this is a very similar uh, shape to a problem. It's gonna be, it's called a hyperbola, uh, if I remember what, that actually looks like x squared plus one um, plus seventeen point twenty five. Uh, maybe let's put a constant down here plus r squared. This R. So now, now I can just play with this value. Never thought I'd say this. I actually prefer the parabola uh, for two reasons. First, is nice and simple, and two, it well, well I, I like the shape that actually gives nice and, nice and smooth. The, the problem with hyperbola is that, well, actually, this is sometimes a problem. It's not always a problem. It can be a good thing. Uh, is that, uh, that you know, let's bring this back. As you, as you get closer to, to the end of it, uh, it en ends up taking a, a, on a straight line because as, as, as there's like this invisible asymptote that that uh, that this graph is being forced to fall on. So so if so if you keep on going, this you like you just look at it from here. You wouldn't even tell that this that this came from a hyperbola. This this like from here this looks like like an absolute straight line. Uh, so so I, so if you if you like that feature, then then this hyperbola is actually for you. But I like. The shape that that the uh, that the parabola gives. So that's that's the one I'm going to use. Uh, so whether you're using hyperbola, parabola, which what or any other equation that you're choosing for for the mouth, uh, that is totally fine. Uh, this is not the correct answer. It's one correct, as you can say. 
Anyways, it's up to what you want this want uh, your cloud to look like. Um, let's drag this up so you can see it. Uh, and then I want to have like another 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 shape. It's going to curve down like this, and then it's going to curve back up. So it's so it's actually like an open mouth. So uh, the graph that I'm going to use is a trick function, and uh, let's I'm going to move this up by it's a good number. Let's try 15 first. No, we're slowly moving up. I'm marking the amplitude as well. I don't know how long I'll be able to say that for. Let's go. Let's. And uh, you can multiply the, the the front of the equation by you can increase the amplitude by multiplying the front by something. Uh, well, I need numbers because the original graph of a cosine it starts from the top and then curves down like that. And uh, I want my space the other way. Be really careful with my numbers. And I'm just. Going with this, it should be down my pad. Oof. Um, I don't know how I feel about this. Um, They all work. They all seem to work. Um, squish it dim lead tad work. I feel like this is making it worse. Okay, let's go with 17.9, see if I can hit anything. 295. Roll with it. Okay, so this x value, yeah, you know, let's go with the y value since y values, values are, in this case, we can just write one. No, that's gonna mess it up. Let's do, let's go with it. Uh, this is negative 1.995. I have five, and but this one we can. What does he get with this? Actually, what am I doing? We can just copy and paste this into here. That's a bad idea. Uh, just grab. Hey, before I do that, look, we should, we should have like. Uh, I don't know what these are called, but like there's like these like arcs they can just put on each side. It's just it's, it's just like they add a bit more volume to his face. Yeah, so because you know when you smile, like your cheekbones get pushed up by a little bit. Uh, for that one, so one question I want to check out. Um, nope. It's like, it's like almost remind you of it. There it is. Okay, you might as well just use the one of Rex for this one. Um, you can use this one or you can use the one of Rex, but uh, uh, I have to make a slight a bit of a jump cut. Alright, so, so you can use this equation, and I feel like one of Rex is just going to be easier. I'm just trying to find that, that hyperbolic shape I was looking for. 
Um, you can do one over x. I can like draw it in, you know, know exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, one over x. Too, oh, too much. That just looks perfect. Yeah, you know, let's limit the y values. Let's see, if 0. 0.575. Yeah, then we can get the x values. I keep on doing this. Uh, it's going to be 19.375. Oh, I need to find out what this actual intersection is. 18, 846, okay. 18. I don't really tutorial at this point. Yeah, so yeah, this one kind of like has a bit more volume to it, like that. Yeah, I don't know what they're called. Like, if you know what they're called, you can, you can, like, you, can you can tell me about that in the comment section. Um, right. So it's yeah, like when I add this in, uh, there are two possibilities. Uh, it's really ballsy. You, you just you know how to use hyperbolic functions, even though I'm not too familiar with it. I just I'm just trying to get a hyperbolic shape of features, so I was just trying all kinds of them, um, and then one of them end up. It had a name for it. I think it's called like a witch hut or witch hat. Uh, but anyways, that, that's that's besides the point. If you, if you want to, well, if you want to uh, um, know more about it, uh, you can just drop me a comment and I'll and I'll uh, respond to you with either either why I know about it or if there's a link that I can bring you to. Most likely Wikipedia. That's like the best source for just like a quick read. Anyways, um. Yeah, like if if you if you got lost in this process, um, there's no shame in asking in the comments. Uh, so like, and uh, if you could help each other out in the comments, uh, that'd be really nice. Um, I'm usually, I'm usually the one who responds. That's okay. Um, anyways, I'll, I will I was I will see. Oh yeah, a uh, few other things I want to I uh, do. This is no longer called people. Why is this still with a, I don't know why this is still that people folders. I want to call his faces. Oh, and then this one would be a power face. I right, just to keep the work a little bit more organized. Uh, is there anything else I, that I should talk about? Oh, yeah. Um, but next time I'm just going to give a clown a hat and maybe add some hair in the tutorial after that one. And so, so I'll, see you, I'll see you in that episode.